In this video, which I think is a very fascinating topic for most of us in relationships and those who are looking out for potential partners or spouses, well, this is the topic that you must check out. It's about how to choose your partner. Um, understanding the concept of chemistry versus compatibility. Uh, we probably don't understand the difference between the two and we tend to overlook the same also, understanding what is compatibility and chemistry. So this is this particular subject that I'm going to talk about. What is chemistry? What is compatibility? And how understanding the difference between chemistry and compatibility can affect the quality of your life and your romantic relationships. For all of you who are new to this channel, I'm Dhanya Varma. I'm a talk show host based out of Kochi, Kerala. And this channel is all about personal growth, self-improvement, self-development, uh, learning essential skills, etc, etc. That would inspire you or motivate you to be a better person. So you must have heard people say, oh my God, when I met this person, it was just magic. We spoke for hours endlessly and it was like I have known this person for life. Well, that happened to me as well. It happened about 16, 17 years ago with my current partner in crime. So was that which happened to me and for, to countless others, was it just chemistry or was it compatibility and how to make the difference between the two? Let's get to know. So I'm often asked these two questions. First, whether it's a love or an arranged marriage. So mine was somewhere in between the two, but I'm not comfortable with this word love because I believe love is a very deep emotion that takes years, in fact, a lot of time to develop. Um, the other question that I'm asked is, was it love at first sight? Well, I don't agree with this concept of love at first sight as well. So if today I had to explain that feeling that happened to me when I met my husband, well, that was chemistry. That chemistry is that unexplainable magnetism that exists between two people and it could be on different types. There could be creative chemistry, spiritual chemistry, intellectual chemistry, sexual chemistry. They all mix and match uh, in many ways to give people that kind of a high uh, you know, which normally is what is mistaken for love at first sight. Chemistry also represents the emotional connection that exists between two people. So when you meet somebody and you get that warm, fuzzy feeling for that person and then you start kind of mirroring each other and give each other that positive feedback loop and then slowly you start making each other feel better and better. You wait through life, daydreaming, you wonder if every call or text is that person. Uh, you're absent-minded, you forget to do things, uh, you're constantly thinking about him or her. So that's all a part of chemistry i'm so sorry it's not love <laughs> can you have a high degree of chemistry with somebody who is totally unlike you very often it happens that way only in fact you would have heard of the word opposites attract so if a person is very strong opinionated ambitious he can very likely be drawn to a very laid-back easygoing person um, an introvert can get drawn to an extrovert because that takes care of their social anxieties or maybe a person who is a extensive planner can get drawn towards a person who is equally disorganized so opposites i think do attract chemistry is the fairy tale whereas compatibility is the everyday practicality chemistry just happens whereas compatibility can be worked on Compatibility is the long-term potential of two people. It is basically the similarities in values, in goals, in life aspirations. Uh, it is how well you complement each other. The chemistry is the reason why you started dating in the first place or even exploring the possibility of the relationship. But even here, you are looking for levels of compatibility. But right now, it's just the superficial ones. Like you wonder if the person likes the same kind of things or maybe going to the movies or eating the same kind of food. Or maybe you like to spend time together in you know similar kind of ways or similar kind of activities. All those are superficial levels of compatibility. But as you spend more and more time with each other, you try and understand the deeper levels of compatibility. That doesn't mean that in order to be compatible, you need to like exactly the same things and have many things in common. Uh, in fact, when there is an, a person who is very different from you, that brings in a nice healthy mix of a change from your own personality and adds a freshness to your life which would probably not exist if you are dating the same kind of a person so here's uh, where brace yourself self-respect honesty communication um, the willingness to negotiate work through things all these things come into play here so 
so how does chemistry and compatibility interact with each other in relationships a relationship with low chemistry and high compatibility is very likely to be a very dull and a boring affair a lot of relationships such as these are kind of drift apart and move away because people stop caring about each other or people get into marriages which are more like friendships it's almost platonic or asexual or probably very predictable even boring uh, in our society there are a lot of relationships that exist this way and it is widely accepted too high chemistry with low compatibility is disaster in fact people in such relationships mostly end up being separated or they go through this emotional roller coaster full of highs and lows and over a period of time it can kind of erode your mental health or maybe lead to abuse or violence in families people who are engaged in such relationships should be very cautious because it's the chemistry that's keeping the relationship going but the focus now should be on the compatibility aspects and if they are not able to resolve it between themselves they must go to a marriage counselor to work it through low chemistry with low compatibility of course is no news but high chemistry with high compatibility is what dreams are made of so in short it's compatibility and chemistry the combination that actually makes a difference to your quality of life but yes it's very confusing so let me give you a few more clues that could probably differentiate between chemistry and compatibility for you huge differences whether you would want to have kids or not have kids where you want to live your strong religious beliefs um or also your levels of emotional intelligence all this can lead to incompatibility chemistry is a glue that binds people together but if you don't share core values and maintain mutual respect then there is no compatibility at all in the beginning of a relationship we tend to present our best selves and we only see the best in the other person but this honeymoon period ends and things start changing that's when problems surface so if your partner is supportive and understanding enough to help you through the changes or you know any life situation that happens then you have a very compatible relationship and if your partner has flaws and imperfections and if you are willing to accept and work through that then nothing like it if your list runs long of the things that you want to change in the person well that's not the person for you your partner accepts you for who you are you feel that you don't have to change around that person or put up a facade or try and impress that being in order to feel loved and respected that is a very crucial point your values must be in sync what are the top 3 non negotiables in your relationship those things that you cannot negotiate about is it trust is it fidelity is it open communication is it respect what exactly is it figure it out for yourself and see whether your partner also holds these values very close to his heart and always remember this compatibility is commitment to the relationship the willingness to work in the relationship to make it better for you and for your partner it doesn't come easy long term relationships if they have to be beautiful then it requires a lot of hard work and most of the work you need to do within yourself to make yourself a better person these notions that we have on social media through the movies that we be this all this are they just create these images in your head that every relationship is a bed of roses it isn't it's a lot of work as well and now for my bonus tip please remember that there is no perfect person for you out there you will get some uh, good things and you will get some bad you need to be willing to work with each other and within yourselves look into your past relationships and find out for yourself is there any pattern that you would like to change uh, maybe a pattern of being uh, over critical over possessive control freak uh, is it a pattern of uh, you know maybe not standing for yourself not putting up a fight when you believe that something was wrong is it being about too submissive where exactly did that relationship not work for you so see if there is anything that you need to correct from your own side because every relationship i believe is an opportunity to grow and evolve uh, into a better human being guys if you are in a relationship or you're looking for a new partner well all the best for that well sometimes it's all about being very basic and simple it's about caring for each other with that note i wrap up this video and if you like this video please remember to hit that like button out there and also remember to subscribe and share with your friends and family if you have checked out my channel you find a lot of videos if you like them please do remember to subscribe uh, i hope you are taking care of yourselves i'll be back with a fresh new video very soon